Welcome to NewsOK.com. I am Jacob Owner here with an Oklahoma City Dodgers update, joined by team president and general manager Michael Burns. Michael, thanks for joining us. So great to be here. It's a hectic, busy, fun weekend for you guys, I would say. Um, <laughs> it they're feels back in so town tomorrow. It feels like we're putting a season's worth of promotions into about three <laughs> games. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot going on this weekend. It's going to be an exciting one to be at the ballpark. People should definitely come out. Um, tomorrow night is your breast cancer awareness night, Pack right. the Park Pink. Uh, you're giving away this Stein. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us about tomorrow night, first of all. Yeah, so we we are working with the you know celebration um, of breast cancer survivors on Friday night. Um, all the players will be wearing specialty pink jerseys and uh, new era caps. Uh, we'll be auctioning those off to help raise funds um, uh, and go through our foundation. Um, we're also recognizing some survivors uh, in our pregame ceremonies. So nine of them will take the field with the players. We'll have lineup card delivery and um, first pitch. So all the elements of pregame that we can really use to celebrate um, these great individuals. Pre-game, we're also going to be doing our 20th season um, commemorative stein. So our marketing team did a great job putting together a piece that that's I think a, is, is going to be that's really... That's a really cool item yeah, right there. A lot of people are going to want to get their hands on that. First mm -hmm. 2,000 fans through the gates uh, will receive that stein. Um, along with that, we had most of the season we were doing um, uh, fundraising through our foundation with a brick campaign that people could commemorate um, their experience with the ballpark uh, through a brick campaign. So we're doing a ceremonial unveil of the bricks um, pre-game uh, in the afternoon, 5.15 on Friday. Um, so all of that is really rolling into what would be a pretty eventful night. Now, um, where is the brick ceremony at? So we're, we're they're actually in the process of being laid into the ground um, at the Mickey Mantle Plaza. So okay. between Mickey himself and the gates, mm -hmm. um, there's a strip of bricks. There's a great um, commemorative um, stone uh, that mimics the uh, image that's behind us uh, and then all of the the bricks two, more, greater than 200 bricks that are going down there nice that, uh, individuals so many cool memories I, as I read them um, people that have connections you know whether it's through family or just um, the experiences they've had at the ballpark that they're trying to commemorate there and I think that's gonna be a, a pretty neat thing it should be a busy night there and you got fireworks right and we have fireworks we're working to have predominantly pink <laughs> fireworks at the end of the game oh, okay Why, what better way to come uh, yeah. you know cap off the evening uh, on a Friday, uh, we of course do fireworks, and so uh, so many things going on, and um, and really that's just one night, and then that'll lead us into the rest of the weekend. Yeah, you've got Saturday, um, the all ballpark team is revealed. That's um, right. Special guests are on the first pitch. Mm -hmm. Same thing Sunday, some special guests. Tell us about those. Yeah, so on Saturday, uh, we have uh, former Mayor Ron Nork is going to help us celebrate uh, the 20th season again. Uh, we had the opportunity preseason um, with um, Mayor Humphreys and Mayor Cornette. Um, uh, Mayor Nork wasn't able to be there because of travel, so we were able to get him back and be part of this um, this weekend. Uh, such great contributions to our community that he made during his tenure as mayor, and so we want to have him out there and throw out a first pitch. Um, also, the bulk of the season leading up to now, we had the fans help us vote on at each position the, uh, the fan favorite, if mm -hmm. you will, um, and, and create an all ballpark team. So. We have some video tributes, some the players that are still active will be uh, sending some messages back and uh, we'll have a full unveil of that uh, entire roster, which will be neat for our fans. They, yeah. they had a heavy hand in, in creating who is the, uh, um, the best at each position, so uh, we'll be able to unveil that and, and celebrate that a little bit more. Um, then rolling into Sunday, we figured having so much fun, why stop now? So uh, <laughs> we had the opportunity through our relationships to bring back Todd Van Poppel who uh, was the first individual to throw an actual official pitch uh, in April of 1998 at the ballpark. He was pitching mm -hmm. for the Red Hawks at the time. Uh, so he will come back and, and throw out ceremonial first pitch and also is willing to sign some autographs for some fans in the second inning of that game uh, near our team store. So it would be great to, to have him back, um, a notable name for people that have been following mm -hmm. um, both Oklahoma City franchise baseball or Texas Rangers baseball over the years. Um, and along with that, we were really honored that we have the opportunity to help celebrate uh, Reverend Bill Greeson, who's going into the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame on Monday evening. So he's coming in town early. He's actually uh, been a preacher for, I think, greater than mm -hmm. 60 years. He's going to be preaching here locally and then coming out to throw out a first pitch as well. So um, an individual that pitched for our franchise in 1952 and one that pitched for our franchise in 1998 are both going to throw out a ceremonial first pitch. And Reverend Greeson is just an incredible human being. and. Uh, 92 years old, he's been involved um, in the military and been recognized there. Um, broke the color barrier here in Oklahoma mm -hmm. um, by pitching for the Oklahoma City Indians in 1952. And then um, 
uh, has been involved with his ministry for so long. So really a great individual that we're so happy to, to help celebrate as he's in town for a couple days. Yeah, and, and actually our columnist Barry Trammell actually wrote about Reverend Greeson this morning. That's if you right. guys want to check that out on newsok.com and yeah. uh, in the Oklahoma editions. Um, what has been the reception from the community going into this weekend about everything coming with this? I think the, the most common theme is surprise that the ballpark's 20 years old. Uh, I think you know there's a number of people that, that, that might be a little bit of a moment in time that uh, um, puts an age stamp on them, and they weren't ready to accept that yet. But it's been a fun um, process and promotion really all season long to, um, you know, we've done some video tributes and, and done mm -hmm. some, you know, kind of this, this day in ballpark history and, of course, the fan uh, vote. So all of these different ways to, to really strike some emotion and connect with people and, and how they have consumed baseball at the ballpark over the years. Our ballpark plays such an important role in not only the original maps, but just the revitalization mm -hmm. of, of Bricktown and downtown. And we take great pride in the responsibility and making sure that we celebrate that. And um, so I think there's been two universal themes. One has been the surprise that it's 20 years old. The ballpark's in great shape. The city has done an amazing job maintaining it and keeping it um, you know, up to high standards. Um, and two has been those that have entered the OKC metro area some point in that 20 year span. This has been a kind of an interesting platform to help teach them the mm -hmm. importance of maps and um, the role the ballpark played in that and all of the projects that occurred um, in the, the 90s and early 2000s and what that means to our city now. So, you know, myself, I've been here seven years and so I've had the pleasure of learning all of that along the way. Uh, obviously operating one of those facilities has mm -hmm. been really important to understand that, the, the value there. Um, but I've had so many conversations with individuals over the course of this season that want to know more or have some curiosity or some questions related to this 20th season celebration. So I think it's been a, an important platform for us to talk about what happened in the you know, early 90s and culminating with opening the gates at in 1998 and what that has meant to the forward progress of Oklahoma City. It should be a, a fun weekend. I assume tickets are still available, correct? There are some available, but I would uh -huh. advise getting your yeah. hands on them quickly. You got to get them quickly, especially for one of those guys That's tomorrow right. night, right? That's so, right. All right. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, have fun this weekend. Thanks. And stick at newsok.com and get the best Dodgers coverage in the state.